Hey guys, happy, gosh, what day of the week is it? It's Tuesday. It's been a minute. <laughs> so here I am. I wanted to come on and um, show my face. I'm alive, I'm well. Um, I've had so many people reach out to me. This is what happens when there's a, a an absence, <laughs> if you will, um, to my video uploads. So I apologize for being MIA. I'm gonna fill you guys in on what's been going on with me because a lot's been happening in the last um, couple weeks, actually. And so I just wanted to take a moment and just make a video and share what's what's been occurring in my world because it's been a little crazy. Um, so first off, sorry for worrying people. I know that a lot of you worry when I'm just not around. And I've been kind of like poking around a little bit uh, in the last couple days. But uh, other than that, I've really been very absent from Dolly Land, Dolly World, internet, other than work. Um, and I haven't been on just really any social media other than a couple of videos here and there that's been quite spotty over the last couple weeks. Um, but I, I promise to get back to like regular scheduled stuff. <laughs> Um, but it's, it's been crazy. So, um, first, first thing that occurred, um, is that my youngest daughter had moved to Cancun and then she has since moved back and she is currently staying with me, it, with us here in my home. Um, so she's been with me a lot of the time and I've been playing catch up with her and just really enjoying my time with her that I didn't have previously. And so just having her in the house and having that dynamic change, it really just, it pulled my attention away and I just, I wanna enjoy the time. I won't, she won't be here for very long, so I wanna like soak up every every minute I can have with her, if that makes sense. And so that's, that's, the, that's the first thing that's been going on. But also um, my dog, Rue, um, has had to have like, I don't want to call it emergency surgery, but it's kind of emergency surgery. Um, so, you know, little background, she has glaucoma um, and she had lost the sight in her right eye, but her left eye, we were able to um, have a surgical procedure done where um, it, they installed like a, a tube and valve so it releases the pressure and it keeps the the pressure of the eye at a low point, um, therefore saving her sight. And so we did we did that initial surgery about a year and a half or more ago. And um, when I and I take her in all the time for regular checks so that they can make sure that the pressure the pressure in her eye is good and everything's okay. Um, so I took her in for a regular scheduled visit last Friday and they wanted to keep her to do a procedure to kind of loosen up whatever was causing the pressures to rise, which is basically like scar tissueing to her around like the valve area. So it, it was putting pressure so I couldn't release. A lot of information, I know. Um, glaucoma is an awful thing to have to deal with, but she's, she's young, so we wanna keep her sight for as long as possible, that's the goal. Um, so they did that temporary procedure on Friday and then they wanted us to bring her back um, yesterday for a revision so they could cut out all the scar tissue and um, clean everything out. And so that occurred yesterday. She's not home yet. She won't be home until tomorrow. Normally she'd be like, you know, stage, stage left. <laughs> And she'd be on the couch kind of hanging out with me in my office. Um, she uh, has to stay another night for a very close supervision and making sure that everything stays clear. Um, surgery was a success, but like having all of that occur and happening um, kind of threw me for a loop also. And it's just been, um, you know, takes my time, I, I guess. So I've been very preoccupied. I have not even looked in the nursery, which is where Monroe is. And so I've just, when I'm stressed or when I have a lot going on, I just tend not to do dolly things. 
And so uh, it makes me feel a little guilty because I just I have I just haven't given any time or effort towards anything dolly related. I've just been very very busy, um, but. I promise to get back to it. I have several videos that I plan to make, a um, couple requested videos, and also just ones that I kind of wanted to make, on, you know, because I wanted to make them. Uh, so I promise that I'll be back to do that uh, soon, very soon. Um, maybe in the next couple of days. Uh, we've had severe weather here as the whole country, the whole of US has had absolutely crazy weather. We've had like severe storms, severe heat. Um, and so uh, it would be nice to be able to get a nice sunny day without storms. And I don't know if that'll happen this week, but I know it's gonna be really, really hot. Um, but th that to be said, all that to say, that I will be back on to do a dolly related video, I promise. Um, but I just at least wanted to come up and come on and update you guys and let you know what's happening in my world. And um, my partner was out of town for like 10 days. Uh, there's just so much happening in this short period of time that is just some unexpected, some sort of not unexpected, I don't know. Um, life gets in the way, right? And summertime tends to be when overall over the years i've i've videoed less just because you know i'm more active and i am outside of my house more um during warm weather and so that tends to be the case still but um i haven't forgotten about you guys though i promise i promise and um i you know i i will get caught up and i do have some really good videos planned uh that i think you're gonna really like one of them is is actually now that my, my daughter's here staying with us for a brief period of time, I want to do an interview. So um, I want to interview her to give, like get her thoughts being my daughter and watching my, you know, love of dolls her whole life. She's, she's watched me collect dolls since she was, you know, can remember. So it'll be fun to kind of do like a Q and A for her. So I, I have that planned. I really want to get that done hopefully this week, depending on what her schedule is, because she's now back to work here. Um, so I have to kind of work around her schedule, but I think that'll be a really fun interview for you guys to see like thoughts of like family members and their thoughts on, you know, the impact of dolls in their world, because they've always been around it, both of my daughters, and they've actually got dolls that I have purchased for them in the past but it's it, it'll be fun to kind of get her take without pre setting up the questions like I'm not going to tell her the questions before I actually do the interview um, she has agreed to do it so I'm looking forward to doing that that'll be a really fun video so you guys can can hear like my my daughter's thoughts on my collecting and yeah I think that'll be really fun so That'll probably be the next video that I put out. Um, but like I said, I have I have some really good video ideas that I've been working on, so I will get back to that shortly, I promise. So stay tuned for future videos. The interview with my daughter will probably be the next one up, unless it'll be a changing video with Monroe since she hasn't been touched. I will try to get to doing that as well and probably do it on camera. But other than that, Life is, a, life is good, I can't complain. I'm busy and everything is great. It's just life has taken me away from dolls for a little bit, so <laughs> happens to us all this time of year, I think. I think that we see less and less um, people online during the summer. I think just people are more active. I, I'm definitely a hermit in the winter, so I stay home more, but yeah. But I will be back. So stay tuned, guys. I hope you're all doing well out there. And thank you for those of you that have reached out to check on me. I always appreciate it. Um, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.